Hi, how are you doing? Today, I want to talk to you about something that I should be really very excited about, but I'm not. That is the fact that one of my favourite TV series of all time, something I watched every single time I could, every opportunity I got I was watching this as a child, and I still watch today, is being remade being rebooted. That is Monkey. Now, as a child, I was kind of obsessed by, by martial arts. And that's kind of because of Monkey. Um, I used to watch The Water Margin as well. And when I was very young, my dad let me watch, quite foolishly on his part, uh, Enter the Dragon uh, on Betamax, which lets you know how long ago it was. And, and I was just obsessed from then on. Uh, I had to learn this stuff. But Monkey is, is kind of one of my first, my first loves in the world of martial arts. And for those of you that, that don't know what this is, uh, it's a, a Japanese TV series from the 70s that was originally released in Japan called Sayuki, which it means Journey to the West. It's based on a Chinese fable and it was dubbed into English and released in England in the late 70s, early 80s. And it was kind of a staple on TV for those of us that grew up in, in that time period. Only 39 of the 52 episodes made were originally dubbed. Uh, they've all been dubbed since. So the, the, the box set that I, I showed you, that's got them all in. But originally, we didn't get to see them all. Uh, the story is effectively that um, Monkey, the main character, was born because of the elemental forces of the universe acted on the stone egg, and from it came forth a stone monkey. Um, the monkey beat a dragon king and stole his magical staff, was admitted to the kingdom of heaven, but caused such uproar and uh, was eventually kicked out of the kingdom of heaven after eating the peaches of immortality. Uh, as a chance to redeem himself, he was given the job of guarding and looking after a, a young monk, Tripitaka, who was going to travel uh, from China to India to recover some sacred scriptures. Along the way, Monkey meets two other angels who have been cast out of heaven, um, he meets Sandy, a water demon, who was cast out of heaven for breaking the Emperor's Jade Cup. And he meets Pigsy, who is a now a, a half-human, half-pig demon that uh, fights with a, with a rake, I believe, um, who was cast out for chasing girls. And the series is effectively their adventures as they travel from China to India. Now... It's brilliant. Clearly, it's of its time, but it's got a real cult following, and it's easy to see why. It's a fantastic show. It's a lot of fun, uh, and and I don't know how I feel about them remaking it. If I'm being honest, um, I've got a couple of issues. They're both to do with the cast. Now, you 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 can see that the cast looks a little bit different. Um, mainly Sandy. Now, Sandy was kind of one of my fav favourite characters. A monkey was cool, don't get me wrong. But Sandy had that kind of, I don't know, mysterious thing about him. Monkey was, was pretty brash. Pigsy was in your face all the time, but Sandy was fairly quiet, but perfectly competent. Um, and he had a necklace of skulls. That was cool. Um, now, Sandy was played by uh, Shiro Kashibi, who was a, a musician and has starred in lots of, lots of TV things since. Um, and, and he was kind of my favourite. He was my hero. Um, odd hairdo, but you know what? Fair enough. I can live with that. Um, and Sandy in the reboot is being played by someone who looks a little bit different. Um, Emily Cockerell is a half Australian, half French actress, I believe, who, let, let's be honest, is beautiful. But, um, 
doesn't scream water demon, really, to me. Uh, now, I could be wrong. Uh, and I'm willing to accept that this, this could well work. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, Tripitaka, the monk, was a young man. However, Tripitaka was played by uh, Masaku Natsumi, who was most definitely not a young man, who was a very attractive young woman. Um, that led to some fairly conflicted emotions uh, for a child growing up watching this program, but um, let's not go into those. So, you know, it can work. And the Battlestar Galactica reboot is probably worth mentioning at this point. I was a big fan of Battlestar Galactica first time round. Starbuck, awesome character. We all loved Starbuck. Battlestar Galactica reboot, Starbuck was slightly different. Um, but I think we can all agree that Katie Sackhoff kind of took that role, made it her own, and did a fantastic job. And to be honest with you, I kind of prefer the, 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 the modern Battlestar Galactica, and I prefer Katie Sackhoff's Starbuck, Cara Thrace, to the original. So I'm very happy to have a reboot with a female character instead of a male character. At least I'm very happy to give them the benefit of the doubt and see how it works. But the one thing that I'm struggling with a lot here is this is a reboot of a Japanese series starring Japanese actors of a Chinese fable that's based around a story about Chinese people and Chinese gods and none of the characters are Chinese. Now, okay, none of the characters in the original one were Chinese either, but let's be honest, as a small child growing up in, in North England in the 70s, the subtleties between the different countries in, in Asia, between Japanese and Chinese, were, were kind of lost on me. But, you know, look at this, this modern cast. Now, I understand that Chai Hansen, who's playing Monkey, the lead, is half Thai. So he's at least got a little bit of an Asian look to him. But I don't really understand why we'd take a Chinese fable that has a real cult following with Japanese actors who we love and then replace them with, with Western looking people. It seems really strange to me. And to be honest, it, it feels a bit insulting. Um, so um, again, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. And when it's released, I will watch it. But I, I'm already struggling with this. I don't really, I don't really understand it. You know, those of us that are into this kind of genre, if you like martial arts flicks, if you like oriental cinema, then you don't have a problem with people that look like they're from the part of the world that we're actually trying to depict. Why, why westernize it? Why, why whitewash an oriental legend? It seems bizarre. But anyway, uh, I'll stop going on about it. Let me know what you think. Um, were you a fan of the original series? Have you even seen it? Um, if not, shame on you. Um, go watch it now. It's fantastic. Monkey's nature was irrepressible. And it's, it's just, oh, it's a joy. Go watch it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe. There's lots of cool videos. Go back, check some of them out. The Katana vs. videos are proving very popular at the moment. Stories of greatness, if you're interested in the lives and backgrounds of some of the really great fighters from the early boxing era. Um, that's great. Um, fight breakdowns, they're a bit of fun. Um, make some suggestions. Give me some more fights to, to break down. I'm about halfway through one that's been suggested by a lot of people, so make sure you don't miss that. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you soon. Take care.